Hello everyone and welcome. Today I have the pleasure of trying out a coffee sent to me by Leo, a roaster at Strava Craft Coffee. Just recently Leo got back from the US Roasters Championship, a championship in which he placed 17th in the nation, which is pretty phenomenal and to that I have to say congratulations my man. Now I was lucky enough to have this bag sent my way care of Strava Craft Coffee. Now for today's brewing method, I'm going to go with the pour over choice. And for that, I like to separate 20 to 30 grams of coffee beans based on how many ounces of coffee I want in the end. We're going with 23 today. And now I like to grind it using my great-grandmother's coffee grinder that she gave to me a few years back. It's a fun, nostalgic way of grinding coffee, and it just takes you back to your roots. But you can also use your typical electric grinder or even a blade grinder, whatever your choice is. In the end, you're going to come up with some nice coffee grounds such as these. Now let's boil some water. I like to use filtered water to ensure that my machine stays clean over time. Pour over options vary from the cheap to the exotic. There's $3 options, $40 options, but today we're going to go with a $10 ceramic option from Target. Now when pouring the water over the grounds, it's good to start on the outside and work your way to the center in a circular motion and then let it sit for 30 to 40 seconds to allow the grounds to degas, after which you can finish filling your cup. All right, so let's see what this Colombian coffee from Huila, Colombia smells like. Ooh. That's nice. So I smell because it, it gives me a, a smell of kind of like a Christmassy grandma's kitchen smell and the reason I say that it's like a baked smell like some grandma's baking it's kind of a toasty she's making some sweets kind of smell that's what I get like kind of a I guess you could say a yeah Christmassy uh, bakey f smell that's great with a little bit of a uh, I smell a little bit of caramel to it so it's a sweet smell let's see if it's a sweet flavor Yeah, there's a sweet flavor to it. There's a sweet, definitely can have a little bit of caramel cherry flavor to it. And uh, another flavor. A very light uh, flavor as well. There's another one in there. I can't tell what it is yet. One second. Uh, I like the light flavor. It's a citrus, so a lighter citrus, maybe uh, perhaps like a lemon uh, without that uh, acidity to it. Uh, just the light citrus to it and deep, uh, darker. I have a little hint of cocoa to it. Just a little, but not a lot. Uh, caramel, definitely have a little bit of that, but I have like this earthy flavor to it. I don't know what it is yet, but it's it's a darker color, I'd say. Uh, darker green, maybe. Maybe, a, uh, you know, kind of a plant life smell to it, or flavor to it. And I think that's because of the citrus. It's a, it's a very bright flavor, so it's a medium body for sure. I like that. Uh, so I'd say citrus with a little bit of caramel, a little bit of uh, cocoa, very small bit of cocoa, and then a deep cherry flavor as well. It's a nice balance. I really like that. Um, great cup, Leo. Congratulations. Uh, again, Leo did a great job. He got 17th place uh, in the nation at this roasting competition. He did a great job. We're proud of him. Everyone at uh, Strawcraft Coffee is proud of him. So good job, man. And thank you for sharing this delicious uh, cup of coffee with me. I really appreciate that. And... Uh, I hope you go on and do another competition and, uh, and win because, darn, this is delicious. Yeah, it's definitely like a, a, a plenty flavor to it. A plenty flavor with uh, plant-y flavor, sorry, uh, with a little bit of citrus, which I really like. That's great. And I love that smell of, of grandma's, grandma's bacon. I like that. Not bacon, but baking. I really like that smell. So thank you very much, Leo. And Strava Craft Coffee... You guys were the ones that sent this this way, care of Leo. So thank you very much. And for those of you who would like to try something kind of like this, uh, Leo is the roaster at Strava Craft Coffee. Him as well as Kevin Crowley, and you also have their new apprentice, Kyle. They're all roasters there. They work every day to make the best bags of coffee uh, and send them out pretty darn quick so they can get to your door within a week of being roasted. So if you want to try them out, definitely recommend them. They have single origin, they have signature roast, and they also have my favorite, pardon me, CBD infused coffee. 
They start at 30 milligrams and work their way up to 240 milligrams. So you can try it out at any level and see what your body works best with. I've tried them all. I really, really, really enjoy them, except for the decaf. I haven't tried that one yet. But they're all really good. I've noticed a lot of help in my body. Uh, aches and pains kind of just work their way out, and I definitely work on focusing. Uh, the flavors are great. They are Colombian, as well as this one. Um, and they also have other ones, such as uh, Single Origins. They have some from Africa, and they also have some from uh, down south. So delicious coffee brewed by Leo and friends. And uh, so while you can't have this specific cup of coffee, you can definitely try out some of his other handiwork. So if you'd like to, go by StravaCraftCoffee.com. I'll have that linked down below. And you can try out some of their work. Um, I also have a coupon code, Urban10. If you'd like to use that, you get 10% off your order. And you can have that coffee right at your doorstep pretty darn quick. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, thank you uh, to Leo. And congratulations to Leo for doing so well with this amazing cup of coffee. Hope to see you guys soon. Have a great day.